Hello. I'm Shadwell the poet. I know what you're saying. Why isn't he dead? <laughs> All the best poets are dead. Well, if it's any consolation, quite a lot of people who've enjoyed my poems in the past are dead now. <laughs> and I don't feel very well myself, as a matter of fact. In fact, this week, my poem is about the doctors, because that's where I went. In I went to the doctors, and the first thing that Dr Kavloino said to me was, Shadwell, do you want to be treated privately? And I said, no. So he examined me in the waiting room. <laughs> I suppose that's why they call it the community health centre, really. <laughs> but the other patients were very helpful. I suppose if they're ill, they must know something about medicine. Mr. Poo. Mr. Poo thought I'd got bubonic plague, and he kept trying to pour boiling water on my anorak. <laughs> Mr. Gosain then said that he thought I'd got an inferiority complex, but it don't matter because I'm inferior. <laughs> then Dr. Kavloino got very serious, and he said, all right, Chad, well, I want you to undress down to your underpants, and it all... It all went very quiet. <laughs> the only sound was me undoing the safety pins on my cardigan. <laughs> and then, there I was in my pants, and Mr. Greeley said, Shadwell, I think we've seen his pants before, haven't we? <laughs> and I said, yes, Mr. Greeley, they used to be yours. <laughs> My mum bought them off you last winter. They're very good pants, whole meal pants, lots of roughage in them, right? Anyway. <laughs> anyway, then Dr. Kavloino started asking a lot of very serious questions. He said, Shadwell, why, why aren't your legs moving? Because I'm sitting down. <laughs> All right, he said, don't get cheeky with me. I'm going to ask you a very serious question now. Shadwell, have you ever, ever thought about taking your own life? <laughs> no. Well, I think you should. <laughs> and then he said, well, Shadwell, I'm not going to give you a physical examination because, well, you might have something catching, but uh, is there anything that you want to tell me about before you go? And I said, well, yes, yes, there is one thing. It's, I keep hearing these voices. Voices, yes. What sort of things do they say, Shadwell? Oh, things like, Shadwell, have you made your bed? And... Shadwell, where's that loaf I sent you out for? <laughs> I see, and tell me, Shadwell, are there other people about when you hear these voices? Yes. <laughs> Shadwell, what you've got is incurable. You're stupid. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> so I wrote this poem on the way home. Hickory dickory doctor. I don't feel very well. Well, an apple a day will keep me away. So why don't you ask a greengrocer for a second opinion? 